All right, we made it to the portion where we're ready to take our part, turn this section down to resemble something of our sample. We're going to do it on our Victor 1840 CNC lathe. This is a Teach lathe. Back when I bought it in 2005, it cost me $38,000 at the time. High-speed slant beds were probably in the range of 60 to 100. I don't do a lot of high production, so this machine suited my needs. So it's essentially a retrofitted engine lathe with a fanic control on here. But what I want to show you is a time-honored machinist trick that I have to do from time to time. And there it is. Yes, the old chuck and a chuck trick. I don't have a four jaw chuck that actually fits this machine, so I took this one off of my little Grizzly uh, 12 by 36. It's good enough to get the job done. Uh, the one problem I do have, though, is I don't have anything to back up the part. So while my center's pushing in it and I go to cut, I can't afford to have this one come loose. So what I'm gonna do is make a stop that'll go in the three jaw chuck that's holding the four jaw chuck that will back up the part in the machine. So what I got roughly, my part is about four inches. The back side of my part is four inches from the face of my chuck. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take this chuck out and then we're gonna make the plug with a stop. What I'm going to do is make a plug. I'm going to turn it down about one inch to go inside of this hole with a slight shoulder. And I'm going to drill and tap a half 13 in the middle so I can use one of my tie downs. Okay, I'm back over here at the 12 by 36 Grizzly. Uh, I've removed the four jaw chuck because we're going to use it over there. I've got an eight inch chuck. We're going to put on the machine. This is a D13 mount cam lock. I've already cleaned everything. I've got a piece of inch and a quarter uh, coal finish, just 1018, or excuse me, two and a quarter. That I'm gonna turn this out of. All right, we're good to go. Okay, all I have left to do is measure the hole in the spindle. When we make our plug, we're going to make it about five thousandths smaller. So I'm measuring 2.178 less than. Let me do it again just for good measure. And I get 2.177. So that's what we'll use for our number. If you notice these calipers, there's a red pointer inside the dial along with a black one. They read both uh, English and metric. Metric is along the top side of the scale and the inner red dial. 
So for me, every now and then when I'm looking at a threaded bolt and I'm not familiar with the size, I know it's a metric. I can use these to measure it and know exactly what it is on the fly. Pretty handy. Okay, I have a piece of two and a quarter inch cold roll steel. We're going to make our stop plug that goes in our chuck so we can make our clevis parts. First thing I'm going to do is face it off. We're going to turn it back one inch to the 2.178. We're going to make it minus five there about just so it slips in the hole. Two chamfer and we're going to drill a 7 16 hole we're going to tap at half 13 7 16 7 16 is larger than one half 13 calls for but i want it to tap easy because this is not anything other than a stop that i'll never use again or maybe who knows Now we're going to take it to the bandsaw and cut it off. 